Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my channel. Before we get into today's video, I just want to remind everyone about a couple of things. First, my Patreon, where for $3 a month you can get four extra ASMR videos each and every month. You will also gain access to all of the previous month's videos as well. I also have an OnlyFans page, so if you think that might be something you're interested in, you can use the link down below to sign up for that. Also down below you'll find my Instagram and Wizio page information. So my Wizio is where I make all of my custom content, so pretty much those are all the links listed down below. And lastly, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. But now let's get into today's video. Hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just got here. No, I don't know. What do they look like? Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye. Um, are you... Hi. Hi, yeah. I'm Isabella. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I realized once I got here I didn't have a picture of you, so I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to find you, but I guess you probably know my face, so that kind of made things a little easier. Well, it's really great to meet you. So, you are here for the crew chief position? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wasn't sure because I also have someone coming in for the tire changing position, so just, just a lot of pit crew interviews today, but that's great. Okay. So why don't you follow me to sort of my office and we'll sit down, chat, and, and see, if, uh, see if you'll be a good fit. Okay? Yeah. I know. I know. Well, I'll lead the way. <laughs> okay, so great to finally meet you. I know we spoke on the phone two days ago. I think it was two days ago. I'm really excited you were able to come in for an interview so soon. Obviously, the Daytona 500 is coming up very, very shortly, so I don't have a lot of time to put a new pit crew together, so I am overwhelmed, <laughs> to say the least. But I saw your resume, you have a ton of experience, and I was very interested in meeting you, talking to you more, learning about your experience as a crew chief. So if you just want to start talking and um, I'll just listen to, to everything and then we can talk things over. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yep, this will be my first time participating in the Daytona 500, so I am both so excited. It's definitely a dream come true and also so scared. <laughs> you know, I am I am a newer driver that people have kind of started paying attention to recently. So even though I've been at it for a while, um, this is my first time participating in the Daytona 500, so I'm a little nervous. But that's why I know that, you know, there are only cer I, certain things I can control right now. So right now, I'm going to focus on finding the best crew. So I need a new crew chief, like I said 
tire changer and let me see because I also had someone who I thought was going to come in to interview as the Jackman but I think they said they actually were dropping out so if you know any people that are good Jackman then let me know because I still need to fill that position <laughs> But as far as crew chief, I'll just kind of go over the basics. I'm a very easy person to work with. You know, it's high stakes job, low maintenance driver. So I feel like we're in this together. My success is as much your success. You, you know, we work as a team. Uh, a lot of people view being a race car driver as a you know, a one-man show, one-woman show, but that's not the case. I'm very well aware of that, so you'll never have to worry about me um, being too demanding or, you know, not understanding the the weight on your shoulders to, to help me perform to the best of my ability, right? So, you know, you you are the, the most important important team member, really. Like, you are going to orchestrate all the behind the scenes stuff whenever any pit stop takes place. So you'll be, you'll be up. You'll be the one formulating and executing the pit stop strategies. Um, you know, you're going to be working with everyone else. You are going to be talking with the race engineers, overseeing the training of the pit crews. Uh, you'll be adjusting the car setup, overseeing the fabrication of any new race cars that I drive, and basically you'll be making sure that the team has, we have the best chance of winning. So a lot is on your shoulders, your very strong, capable shoulders, as I can see. So you obviously look like you're in good shape, which is good. Obviously this is an active role. You may hate need to at any moment be able to jump in and be the jack man, be the tire changer, and um, take over someone else's position if for some reason they are not able to be present, which I, I can't see a reason why they would not be present since obviously these are very high stake events and I would hope that anyone <laughs> would be able to to know that their entire job usually is leading up to this one race that we really really need them for so I wouldn't worry too much about that and that was kind of a tangent a rant my own personal fear <laughs> coming out and, you know I get nervous thinking about what if what if someone wasn't able to show up and all that but I yeah from what I can tell, from what I've read on your resume, I really like you. I think you seem really, really capable, uh, impressive, and I honestly think we would be lucky to have you as sort of captain of our team, so um, yeah, I, I don't know. Do you have any questions you want to ask me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, scheduling, stuff like that, I, obviously, it's a, it's a rigorous schedule, we do a lot of training, a lot of prep work prior to any race, but um, I also do believe in a, a work-life balance, so, of course, travel involved, and I want you to be able to spend time with your family, significant other, okay, well, <laughs> if you had a significant other, I'd want you to have the time to spend with them. But even if you don't, that does not give me the right to require your presence any more than I normally would. So, just... <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> no, I saw that article in People Magazine, too. That was a false story. I'm not sure who brought that to their attention but no i am not i am not dating any any pro athletes so i don't know 
You know, I wonder the same thing. How do these rumors get started? It's always something, right? But no, no, no pro athletes on my dating radar. Um, but I do have this for you if you so do decide to accept the position as my crew chief. So that was also my way of telling you that you have it because, you know, I think your resume speaks volumes and I would be silly to grill you with questions. Like I said, I'm laid back. I was also watching some old footage from, um, well, not that old. It was like last year's racing footage from pit crews that you worked on and I really could just tell how professional you are. You really know how to orchestrate a team. You really do know how to orchestrate a team and let everyone know what they're supposed to be doing. So that was very obvious from the footage that I watched and I think grilling you with questions that you obviously have don't need to answer. You've proven yourself. I can, I can tell that just by, just by meeting you, looking at your resume, watching that footage. I, I feel really good to just, honestly, to hire you. <laughs> so, the job is yours if you want it, and so is this hat. Everyone on my pit crew has one. Everyone on my team has one. My manager, publicist, parents. Let me take this off and <laughs> are you sure? You can take some time to think it over. Um, I don't want to push you into making a decision on the spot. I know I'm hiring you on the spot, but are you sure? Well, in that case, enjoy your hat. Let me put it on you. Red is definitely your color. You look so handsome. I think it looks really good on you. As you can see, red is sort of the color that I really like. I mean, it's no surprise seeing as red is in the NASCAR logo, so it makes sense. But I'm very excited. Very excited to have you part of the team. Um, maybe you could even stick around for the next interview since this person will be just as much my coworker as they will be yours. So I think it would be really great for you to have a say in the hiring process. Only if you're free though. Only if you're free. I don't want to make you stick around if you had plans or somewhere to be, of course. So your call. I leave it into your very capable hands to decide. Um, but yeah, they will be, let's see, they'll probably be here in about like 15 minutes. So you could just hang out with me until then. Um, mm, yeah, you could just hang out with me until then. We could just chat, get a coffee, talk. Um, It's true. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. No, there's a lot. I know there is a lot for us to go over, but we'll do that. Do that now over the next couple days, unless you want to know all that right now. Um, okay. 
You're sweet. Um, I, yes, we're going to set something up. We'll set up probably a dinner for next week for you to meet everyone. Um, and we'll, yeah, I do like to do some team bonding stuff. I think that it's important for us to have a good, like, work and personal relationship. I don't want to force anything, but just to do some stuff outside of just business. Um, I think it's good, just some like team bonding stuff. So yeah, we'll have a dinner next week. I'll be so excited for you to meet everyone. Um, and I think everyone will love you. The members we do have are just like the best. And the reason I am hiring a decent amount of people is is because it was brought to my attention recently that there were some mm, difficult personalities to work with um, on the team, so we're doing a little restructuring, but I can already tell I don't have to worry about a thing with you. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> By the way, how, how old are you? Oh. Okay. So you're, yeah, you're one year older. <laughs> yeah. Closest in age, like most people on my team are like quite a bit older than me, so you're the closest to me. But that's nice, yeah. I was just curious because you, you look young. We probably, yeah. Well, I'm so excited to get to know you professionally and on a friendship level. Um, and I guess we'll just hang out here yeah, until the next interview. But I am really so looking forward to getting to spend time with you. I can tell we're going to be really good friends. Really, really good friends. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I'd like to end this video by giving a special shout